Give yourself some room by sliding the seat all the way forward and reclining it forward just a little bit. Grab yourself a flathead to remove the little screw covers. There's a little tab right here. All you have to do is push that tab in and then they pop out. There's one. Once you remove those, you'll see two 14 millimeter bolts. So you'll need a 14 millimeter socket and wrench. And just go ahead and fully remove these. This will expose the front two bolts, so go ahead and remove those the same way you did the back ones. Alright, so once we have the four bolts removed, depending on which seat we're removing, be it the driver or the passenger seat, there may be one or more cables underneath that we have to disconnect. So you have to keep that in mind. Now, I find it easier to remove the seats when they're reclined a bit, so if you have power seats, Now's the time to adjust the seat before you remove the cables because obviously once you remove the cables, you're not going to be able to adjust it. Also, you might want to consider protecting your trim and doors before you start you know, attempting to remove the seat. Now we can go ahead and recline the seat back carefully so that we don't you know, rip any cables out or anything like that. So slowly, that way you see how much room you have to work with. You'll need a pair of diagonal cutters. That way you can unclip any zip ties or cut off any zip ties that may be holding the cable in place. All right, so if you haven't done so already, make sure you disconnect your negative battery terminal. As you can see right here, we have three cables in this particular seat that are serviced by this cable right here. You have the heated seats, you have airbags, and you have the airbag sensor that senses when there's somebody sitting on the seat or not. This one's on the seat, so you don't have to remove that one, but these three have to come off. So, and they're all kind of different. So this one has the clip in the back so you just push the clip in get reach behind it push the clip find the clip and then push it in where is it oh there it is push the clip in from, from behind and pull it out this one this black clip right here just pulls down and then you can pull out the cable and this one right here i found it easier to do with a screwdriver um, that you can see the clip right there, but you have to push that in and uh, Then it comes off There. All right, so this seat is ready to come off. Okay, so with the cables disconnected Now we can remove the seat. I find it easier to recline the seat back But you can kind of lift it the seat up and then twist it like this sideways And then it comes off so you can you can do it carefully. You don't have to cover anything up just Make sure you control the, all the metal parts right here, just like that. Thanks a lot for watching. If this was useful to you, support the channel by liking the video and subscribe to see my future content. Take care.